this girlfriend was not comfortable with how close we were. And so she just told him, and then he ghosted me. This is Mildred O. Welcome to my vlog. Hi, guys. What's happening? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Mildred O. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. You are an amazing human. And if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button so you can become part of this family. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. Oh. Maybe they no go leave you behind. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a hot, juicy, spicy topic, which is no other than the opposite sex best friend. Uh -huh. Personally, I do not have a best friend, let alone an opposite sex best friend. <laughs> it's not like as if it's bad or anything, but I just have close friends who I confide in in different kind of situations, and we understand ourselves that way, but that tag bestie. Well, I'm not going to be doing this alone. I'm going to be having guests on today's episode and they're going to drop their own opinion on what they think about having an opposite sex best friend. Yeah. So let's meet our guests. Take it away. First of all, I and I still be the man that will call CI0, aka Mr. Cruz, aka Ratata Fight High Venom, no bite at all. Hi, my name is Asebu Pero. I'm a writer, OAT, and voiceover artist. Hi. My name is Okoye Chizi. I'm a core member, currently serving at Delta State. I'm also an entrepreneur. Hey guys, I'm, I'm Kamsi. Many call me King Kamsi. Um, a radio presenter, um, a hype man, event host. No, not me, can be me, won't be me. No, no, no. I used to have back in those days, not now. Yeah, at, at some point in my life, I did. Currently, no, but at some point in my life, I did. And I think it's one of the best experiences I've had as a guy. Nah, yeah. For me, no. So I've got that. close female friends, yeah? But making the person a best friend, what is best friend at the, at the moon and this? This girlfriend was not comfortable with how close we were. And so she just told him, and then he ghosted me. Hey, yeah, man. I feel like you're going to go this way. Like besides, like, the family, mom, sister, find women that is not you know related to you and you guys have like a really platonic friendship very platonic but yet you get you even without you speaking amazing the thought comes in only when you're in a relationship with somebody i feel like if i'm dating you you can actually be my best friend because we share a lot of things together yeah we we're supposed to share the fact that you went to work and you got messed up and the rest of them we we're supposed to share stuff about your family and the rest of them that makes you a best friend right so basically if we're dating but if we are not oh yeah is okay so i don't understand like if it happens i guess she lost concentration it's not like i'm going around looking for a new best friend. like you know look what do you do but then that's just the, like if it happens okay but i'm open-minded so if it happens yeah but if it doesn't happen Nothing's With how advanced my thinking is now, I think yes, I could have one now and even manage it better than I, I did with the past one. Okay, I already have a boyfriend. I don't think I need it. Like, I don't need it. I don't need it for anything. I have a boyfriend. Like, what do I need the male bestie for? That thing is a fuck boy move. Like, why will you? What do you need it for? I'm your partner. I fuck you. I feed you. I give you my shoulder to lean on when you need my assistance. Like, I support you. Like, what would that girl do for you that I cannot do for you? As long as, you know, they could be open about the friendship, you know, and understand that the alliance between a friendship and a relationship or a dating you know, relationship make it clear to me, make me understand. And when I ask questions, be able to define or explain properly about things and why not you know why not best friend should be someone who's there for you through thick and thin and i could tell for most females it just looks like his guys are always there for them through thick and thin if the best was in the picture before i came in i don't expect them to like just break things up unless i'm suspecting them but then if the girl was not in the picture and then, why are you having what am I there for? Like, you have to choose either the girl or me. And trust me, you don't want to. Uh, you have to choose me now. Which one be? Wait till I can't be for the relationship again. We'll be best friend. We'll be relationship mate. We'll be husband and wife. We'll be everything. 
So you will go to get the best friend. What's the best friend they do? Even female best friends of me are no support. You guys they follow me, they talk anything where you supposed to follow that girl talk or be the boy talk. Uh, that can't you know they are there. I think if there is nothing, if it's completely platonic, I think it's possible. So, I mean, I have one or two friends that share with me. I don't share, I don't do, I don't do such. I don't know what intimacy is. Why are you running? But I have one or two friends that tell me things and yeah, we are good. I don't think of anything. I don't want to do any of them. If you have good understanding with your partner, your friend in this case, you can actually have conversations without having sex. You can actually share things, intimate things without really having sex. I feel so. It works for me. It probably works for the next person. All right? Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Look, let's also imagine now I have the email base. It was, I talked to him about everything. My my good, my bad days, my worst days. And uh, uh, the person was able to feel for him. And the, the kids must like, okay, fine. I don't know if sex will happen, but the, the, the kids must even touch him will happen. <laughs> Some of that give me shoulder to lean on and everything. Is that the I'm doing it myself. I've done it myself. And for two years, I had a female best friend. Shout out to Precious. <laughs> and that that point in my life was really amazing for me. I could tell. And you know what, what it actually cost our splits was you know she moved to a different city, got married, and you know life just basically you changed. With this best thing, right? I feel like when it doesn't work. It's only one of you has feelings, or the two of you, and you decide to settle for best thing. When you, and you are just mad, you are making people have trust issues. I want peace. I want problems always. But people are just like normal friends, just platonic. Yeah, it can work. Like there are some friends that you would never do. Even they give you money, like you're just not attracted to them because there's nothing there. I did it myself. It was very platonic, two whole years, and nothing happened. Nothing wow. at all. Nothing at all. Nothing. <laughs> If you think it works for you, so long as it doesn't affect some certain things about you, uh, then that's cool. But from my own point of view, I can't be caught in that situation. I can be good friends with a female, but tagging is the best friend, like tagging best. That's like putting another, you know, thing to it. Uh, I don't think I, I'm cool with that. If you like the best, like, 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 you know, like them, not to date them. Please, here I move on. No, they don't step to for a bestie thing. Don't they concentrate? Don't work. Fuck off! Because some people just want to like have that person in their lives, like to very close with them. But if it's not only, yeah, go for it, go for it. As long as the partner is comfortable. But then if she has something going there, please don't be stupid. Don't make not have trust issues. Just no. Like one of the tags that really spoils the mind of people is the fact that they keep saying marry your best friend. <laughs> you know, when people say marry your best friend, I, I don't know what they mean. I just want to tell you to start having things to do with your best friend. So, man, people should just define relationship basically. If there's somebody you want to have a relationship with, go ahead. Why not? And if it's somebody you want to keep as a friend and share experiences with, and you know, basically life hustles, run to for advice and all of these things, why not? You know, there's no harm in that. It's a four boy move, and also it's a four girl move. I think that should be a dream breaker. I bet my life now, but even if I bet my small life, that if they have four. They don't fuck. They don't knock. And it's, and it's not a one-time thing. <laughs> that was an amazing session with my guests. I'm sure that you have your own opinion. You can drop it in the comment section and I'll be there to respond. To stay to this minute. I want to say that you are an amazing human and I love you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share, of course, comment. See, but there's something I've noticed. You all watch videos without clicking the like button. Like, that's important. Please just like my video. Just like it. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle at it's Mildred underscore O. I love you all and peace.